Member Samati Joyanati. Tami Kemcho. Ah, Parabar, Parabar. Ah, Bahusaras Nivas. Kuku Shumichao. Gujarat Kubsaras Loko. Jai Jai Garvi Gujarat. Hey everybody, new name here, playing my favorite game, Watcher of Realms. Just greeting any of the Gujarati fans that we have in the channel today, or any other kind of viewer. They don't have to be a fan per se, that's a little arrogant, I apologize. Anyways, today is day 25 on the Free to Please, Free to Play series. So tomorrow you see I'm going to get this uh, four-star psychic power, and that'll put four onto the account. So that'll make a five-star hero to make a lot easier. And the reason I bring all this up is, is I'm going to show you that I will I'm primed to do another six star. And you can't see it because of my face, but down here, I got ass hoard today. This is one of the worst gigolos in all of Watcher of Realms, okay? I'm sure I can find a use for this guy, especially in my nightmare faction trials. However, I got ass hoard. This is not how you want to reset your pity. But on a free to play account, you know, not too bad. I've got a Shamir was the first legendary I ever pulled. Kriya was like the fourth, I think, and Asshore here. However, I did get Constance as my second, and Valkyra, and, you know, Kai. So the universe is kind of even. The reason that I'm excited about saying I want to do a six-star, so let's pretend I was going to six-star Asshore, all right? If I go to Quick Add, I have two five-stars ready to go. I'll be able to have three five-stars when I log in tomorrow because of that psychic power, all right? but when I summon Asshor, the next one that came out was Damon. And Damon is usually, if not Harpun, this hero here is really hard for people to get. And he's required to fuse Abomination. So I've been sitting on an extra copy of Vortex for like a week. And I've had Harpun since like the very beginning day. I think day one I've had this hero. So I need to fuse or get a Komodo. To fuse Komodo, you need. Cuke, you need Drogo, and who I don't have, you need Autumn Season Sister Spring. So, the decision needs to be made. Do I go for the Abomination Fusion? Yes. As soon as I get Abomination and six star him, I'm certain Gear Raid 1 Stage 19 is finished. No question in my mind. I have a free to play guide, a free to play guide, pardon me on my main channel that I uploaded with all those exact heroes that I already have mentioned and the ones that are in that guy. I'm just missing a six-star abomination. It's not A1 where he'll stun, but he's still going to do the job. I'm also fighting with whoever, uh, I shouldn't say fighting, I'm competing neck and neck this whole time with Azum here. And I want these eight summons. It's not about winning. I just want those eight summons. I was leveling up heroes. So, the only way I can get an experience boost is to go into the shop and drop 150 diamonds. And I'm like, man, I don't know, right? Like, that's half of my refills. I have no stamina left. If I go into the black market, there is one that I can buy here. I can buy a gold boost with my guild coins for 400. And as you're looking here, I don't have much gold left. And it's only 26 stamina to do the final stage of gold. Gold raid drops heroes as well. I don't know the rate difference, if there is any, on rare heroes. But I'm also, you know, I'd like to get this out of here, finished. It's not that I'm in a rush to do it, but I think everything comes together for me to spend this 400 guild coins. Tomorrow's reset day. Now, I'm sitting on three legendary crystals already. And I bought the one from the guild shop. You need 1,600 to buy this. I could probably get another one next week, but I don't have the powders. Abomination, I think, is the key. And having gold to upgrade my gear and my heroes, that's the key. So the reason that I'm showing you all this before I do it is that I want you to think for yourself and play along. Like, what would you do? If you're new, you might not know. So I'm telling you everything that's the potential of what's going to give my decision the final thing that made me do this. This is 26 stamina, okay? And it's going to go quickly. The second to last experience rate is 36 stamina. I didn't show it, but I have over 5 million experience pots saved up. So in my mind, I'm killing like four birds with one stone by doing this. I want gold, okay? This will be the last time that I need 
gold because I'm farming gear rate three stage 19 and I'm selling every artifact that, or every gear item that drops in gear rate 319 sells for 6,650 gold. Okay. I did a bunch of leveling up of heroes and experience rate farming and it cost gold and I didn't do too much in the gear rate three. So you're seeing here, I'm going to get 60,000 gold per run and it's dropping me hopefully spring as soon as i can get a spring i can level her up to four star then i got to do all the promotion rates because everybody needs to be max level 40 four star promoted you fuse komodo then you fuse abomination and when this free to please free to play series account gets abomination it's going to be just like when i got volka you're going to see a massive spike in progress and it'll do it for you as well and there's going to be people telling you that the hero abomination is not worthwhile to invest in at the end of this video i'm going to link something for you from the main account from that pesky second boss codex for people that don't have many defenders and it shows you how i was able to achieve an s plus codex using abomination and volka and four other defenders believe me if you're short on fighters Abomination will not only help you in gear rate 1, stage 19, 20. He's going to help you in gear rate 2, 19, and 20. No question about it. And he's also going to allow you to push deeper in an artifact material raid. As soon as I get Abomination, I'm probably pushed up to 17 on artifact material raid. And this is huge news for any account. Once you get past 16 and 17 in AMR, you should be spending a thousand stamina a week farming it once you establish some decent stats and sets on your heroes. So this will be the last run of the gold raid that I'm doing here. I was just hoping to have it recorded to show you that I get spring dropped, but I've had her so many times. I've had Jorova so many times. I've had Cuke so many times. I just kept selling them early because I never anticipated pulling like a third vortex that I've had now and Damon. And I suggest if you have the ability of self-control, which I don't, you save your spring and you save your drogos. As soon as you get these heroes, just save them, put the lock on them, put one promotion into them and keep them in your inventory. And then you'll know, you'll know when you're in the position I'm in that you're not like, oh, I'm forced to spend 400 gil coins to farm somewhere so that I can fuse Komodo. So you're seeing here, I'm short this rare hero spring, okay? Can't summon her, I'm not wasting diamonds to summon. And on Abomination, I'm ready to rock and roll except for that Komodo, okay? And believe me, when you get your Nightmare team established as well, it'll help your guild boss. And it'll give you faster attack if you put down four of them. All four of those heroes will attack the guild boss 35% faster. And you'll start noticing that Wrath is a pretty decent hero as well, let alone Abomination. Oh, actually, uh, I want to do one arena with you guys as well. I'm in Plat 2. I'm pretty happy about being in the Plat 2, but i show you quick the ease of the gear swap again. And if you continue to use three or four sets similarly, that you just swap them to the same heroes over and over, you start remembering, you know, who last wore it, where it is, things like this. And it, it just makes the swap that much easier so comet and idril if idril's not in the lineup she puts the best gear that i have goes on to comet if valkyra isn't in the lineup then comet gets that set and it's that easy for me all right and then i think i have lunaria so if i'm going into arena i want to have a bit better damage right so i have allura and lunaria so i come down to let's see what fish face is wearing so it's a big improvement right so I'll just swap them out. Even if it's for one battle, eventually it's kind of like hitting alt tab when you get to the habit of trying to switch, you know, what windows you have open on a computer and it's just alt tab. Oh, I had a loss, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, they attacked me while I had naked heroes in there. So I don't know about this Eddie Nero. We'll take a look here, see if I can manage something, okay? And again, like Comet's like my best hero. And normally in arena if it's like single target or anti-air you don't want to bring an aoe mage but my comet is strong i'm not saying that i know how to do arena well 
Okay. If I really did, I might have pushed into uh, plat three by now. But what I'll show you is the process of the free to play account again. Win or lose, do the arenas. It's free resource. You want to keep getting maximum coin potential, especially since tomorrow's reset day. Okay. If I can stay in platinum and I get those, I think it's, I think it's 400 coins, but I'll be able to buy a legendary skill crystal immediately on reset day. So you see how I wasn't strong enough here and one of these mobs squeaked through. So I've put my comet in a position where he can clean up whatever comes. And you might think like, well, now he's not, everything's going to squeak through. Whenever I fight any opponent that has similar battle power, I'm unable to stop the, the leaking. They're always leaking. So I said, I might as well just put my comet down now. And now I'm set up to try to win. Okay. He can't kill them, no matter what I've done. And I figure I'm going to lose most matches. All right. But I'm okay with that because it's free coins. Okay. These arena coins here, 20 every day. Every day, no matter what, I will spend on a large stamina pot. And I believe you should as well. So when uh, tomorrow's reset day comes, it's a good time to reestablish your diamond supply. That's the other reason why I'm going to run the rest of these in the gold rate. So in challenges here, like you see, if I hit platinum arena, I'm running out. You do platinum three, warlord, and that's it. And then the last challenge will be to log in with the windows. So today was also the first monthly quest reset day for me. All right. So I've done some of that. And it coincided with a weekly reset. So I got a bunch of nice summon opportunity today that didn't give anything at first. And then on the last two, I got Ass Horde and then I got Damon. So I'm ready to rock and roll with Abomination. I hope everybody had a great weekend. In North America, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I go visit with family. If you do, please don't drink a drive. Take care, everyone.